Hello, hello Aquarius. Welcome to your November 2019 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Aquarius. And before we get started, just so you know, the 2020 readings are going to be coming out, I'm thinking early December. So make sure you sign up for my newsletter if you'd like to get notifications on all the stuff that I'm putting out. And I have more content, more classes, all sorts of good stuff that I'm putting out to you. So make sure you sign up for that if you're interested. And follow me on Instagram for more content. Other than that, let's get into this. I'm going to lay out the spread and then we'll get started. Okay, let's start with your oracle cards. So first thing, anxiety directs your attention to an illusion. So anxiety, generally speaking, is a fixation on future tensing. What if this happens? What if this goes wrong? What if this happens again? It's an obsession with the future. So the best practice here is to get center, ground yourself, find a way to come back into the present moment, as cliche as that might sound. And then we also have nature. So perhaps that's kind of the mode that you want to choose for grounding yourself and getting into your center. Is nature your happy place? Like, is that what really fills your cup? And if so, get on it, do more of it, find a way to connect with that. Even if it's just like an evening walk, it doesn't have to mean you have to drive 45 minutes. It's literally just getting outside or finding some space that does make you feel really connected. And then we also have temper. Tune the instrument, manage your emotions diligently, don't get derailed by mania, depression, or burnout, pace yourself, trust it will come to you with right timing. I'm seeing this more as just focus on your own equilibrium, don't try to steer yourself and do 50,000 things all at the same time, that's not going to work. Okay, this reading is much different than what I normally do. So we have past, present, future in the center. These are oracle cards as well. And then you have your outer world up here and your inner world down here. There's no timeline this month. Okay, so the first thing in the past position is yes, you can. So this actually seems like you probably made a big move or you jumped on something or you did something big. So that is actually what's already occurred is that big move, that big transition, that big risk that you took. That's done and over with. Now let's see what's going on in the present moment. Reflect. Okay, so now this is highlighting the temper card as well. You're just tuning the instrument. So once you make a move, once you transition into something new or you take that risk or you do that big thing, the next step of the process is to reflect on what is working about that, what isn't working about that, and what type of movements do you want to make? What type of adjustments do you want to go into the coming weeks, months, however long with it. So this is just about taking inventory, reflect on where you're at, you know, without judgment, just ask yourself the right questions. And then the oncoming or the future position, we have staying alive. This is actually a reminder that you're going to be okay. So I think the cards are kind of having a sense of humor with you. Because it's like if you're having anxiety about the future and then it's like, okay, you did this big thing and maybe in your reflections you're realizing just how terrified you are. This is like, oh, you're actually going to be okay. You're actually going to stay alive through this. So just allow yourself to settle into that. So I, I, I just think that this is like, it's not as serious as it feels. That's kind of the, the energy from these cards because it's... It's one of those things our spirit doesn't take the physical world as seriously, but our earth body takes the physical experience really, really, really seriously. Let's see what's going on up here in your outer world. Eight of Wands, I think things are moving faster than you might be giving credit 
<laughs> yeah, so you might feel like, oh, this is so slow. This isn't moving in the direction that I wanted it to go or at the pace I wanted it to go. I think it is. It's just very difficult to evaluate that from your own standpoint. So that's the first thing coming up here. Let's see what else. The Empress, focusing on receiving. So this is Divine Feminine. What are you making yourself available for? What are you open to? So think about what am I open and available for? What am I saying yes to? What am I being met with? If you're wondering where you're at internally, if you don't even know how to answer that, reflect on it. Ask yourself, what am I having reflected at me externally? And that will give you the answers as to what's going on within you 99% of the time. Sometimes there's flukes, but a lot of the time just paying attention to what you're having reflected at you externally is enough data. And then we have the six of wands. You're going to get what you need, but it's getting your body to calm down as you're moving forward, right? So whatever you're asking for, whatever you're wanting, whatever you're aiming at, it's all about kind of repairing that nervous system so you're not flying by the seat of your pants uh, or, or in that constant state of flying by the seat of your pants. And then to clarify the Six of Rods, we have the High Priestess. This is the intuition, trust your gut, if there's something that you're feeling nudged to do, this is the month to do it. This is the time to pay attention to it. And I think the high priestess is just that part of you that knows. It's your internal knower, your internal compass. So practice trusting that more and more, even if the decisions seem small. Okay, let's see what's going on internally. Four of Swords, needing to rest. Are you burning the candle at both ends? Do you need a break? Do you need to decompress? Are you just running out of energy? Really check in with that because if you are running out of energy and then you keep going and going and going and going and going, it's not going to put you where you want. So the best thing that you can do at this point in time is figure out a way to get into stillness. That's the main thing coming up with the Four of Swords, especially with this uh, anxiety card on the table and the temper card. It's like you have to get still in order to do that. And then we also have the Three of Swords. So this is the griefy energy. Maybe um, I'm getting some frustration off of this as well, like things not going your way or feeling as though things aren't going your way. It's really interesting because this is all internal. The external looks really good. You have all good things happening in the material, but if your internal world is out of whack, it, you're going to have a harder time seeing all of this. So you need to practice focusing on what is going well. This is a month to practice a lot of gratitude and make sure you're being extra tender with this part of yourself that might be hurting or healing or whatever is kicked up. And then we also have the four of pentacles. So feeling stuck or trapped or like you don't have enough resources. Let me clarify this. And to be clear, this is time, money, energy, love, connection. I mean, anything that you can think of. It's just a lack. Once again, you have the Empress coming up. So are you available to receive it? Or are you digging your heels in and resisting it? Because that's a straight up internal work. There's nothing you can do to force it outside of yourself if internally you feel like you're not able to receive it or if you're putting up blocks everywhere you possibly can. And whether that be conscious or unconscious, doesn't really matter. So the best thing that you can do is investigate it. Like what's really going on? Are you afraid that you can receive something? Is there fear, anxiety, a, a lack of self-worth? I mean, what are you throwing up to resist receiving? And just, I think that this is just an indication that your your reality is okay. The, the material is okay. 
but your internal is what needs some fine tuning in the month of November, just for your own sanity and well being. Now, let's do a three card pick. You're welcome to ask a question, ask for guidance, clarity, whatever it is that you need. Card number one, five of pentacles. So you're going to have to, this is all energetic as well. It's another like frozen poverty card, not enough, feeling like you're stuck or there's not enough resources, time, money, energy, whatever that is. Uh, of course, I can't like go in depth on how to shift that. But know that the main thing that you have to practice is leaning into things that give you the feelings and experience of this not being your reality. So you kind of have to go against the feelings that you have and find ways to create the feelings that you want. Because then that's how the shifts start to happen as a result. It's the feeling of, even though everything about this reading is saying things are actually okay, but if your perspective is out of whack, then that's where you want to go. And then we have the magician. Ask for it. Manifest it. And remember that this is a combination of thoughts, words, and actions. It's not just thinking positive. You guys know I can't stand that when it's oversimplified that way. Because it, it really isn't that simple. It's about getting every aspect of your energy on board with the same thing that you want. So this is a good time to practice that because it's going to be extra potent in November. Use this to your advantage. If you want something, map it out. Like ask for something specific. And then every day check in with yourself. What are your thoughts, words, and actions communicating when it comes to what you want? And then card number three, we have the King of Wands. Use your personal power, your energy, your confidence. Things will grow, but you have to show up first. You have to show up being your whole self. Allow the highest version of yourself to shine through. Even when that's hard, that's what this is reminding you to do. And know that you're going to be met with the right things if you show up authentically. So make sure you're prioritizing that. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a bit, everybody. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Onyx Healing. And as always, if you need to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you are more than welcome to book a session with me. I am available. So just go to onyxhealing.com or check out the link in the description box for more ways to work with me. I have a lot of good stuff coming up in the coming months. And I also offer more readings on my newsletter, just like little readings that you get sent to your inbox every Sunday. And so go sign up for my newsletter if you're interested in all sorts of content and more readings. And until next time, have a beautiful November, everybody. And I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.